these king oysters that have been growing on the sawdust blocks with no casing layer have pretty much finished up. And you can see it's about the same gambit of performance. We got some that hardly producing any. We got some that have a good flush on top, just like uh, the good cased blocks. You see this one that I cased is kind of lagging behind. So maybe the casing kind of slows things down. And then these are about the same deal. You can see, for instance, this one over here didn't even hardly make anything on top. It just made a few off the sides, but a ton of pins you see growing in between the plastic and the block. So definitely a problem. And these ones are doing pretty good. I can notice that although pins are forming in the casing layer that I packed in between, they really don't get very large, so hopefully it'll still perform well. And again, you can see my tubs back here. Here's the one that I put a very thin casing layer on. Now I was able to take the lid off in just one day and it was growing back together. Here's two days. I'll take the lid off this one now. You can see it's well grown back together. So the casing layer gives a little added moisture to help it regrow faster, but all in all, hopefully it'll perform about the same. So we'll check in, see how these ones are all doing, and also too, see how my ones that I put the casing mix pressed into the sides, how they look when they finish up. These bags over here are finishing up. You can see although they aren't big uh, full two pounder bags like I would want, they're still better than the last situation. Still a lot of heavy pinning that occurred underneath. And usually when they get to about this point, the, uh, the mycelium starts to reabsorb the old pins, but still it, was, it won't add a whole lot back to the current flush. Um, something I haven't mentioned too, if you ever get a situation where you have a bag that's growing, like for instance this one maybe, that's growing one very large mushroom faster than all the other ones, you can go ahead and just chop it off like I did here and then it'll uh, send uh, the energy out to the other ones and usually end up uh, pretty close. Of course, you know, I'm trying to not get them too big, but you know, this one ended up, you can see just uh, five mushrooms on the top. Now let's go over here and see how these tubs are doing. I haven't missed these yet this morning. You can see I have a little bit of water pulled up in this one. I'll probably just tilt it and kind of spread it out over the top. And, uh, not missed it so heavy in that spot. The ones that I did with casing are doing good. And this one at the top that had the six bags worth in the tub, I decided to go ahead and just give it a very light casing. I just uh, put four handfuls on there as uh, gently as I could and spread it out. And it actually already has pins forming. I don't know if you can see but right here, there's some. I was actually pretty impressed that uh, just after four days, of taking the lids off these, they start to produce pins. You can see uh, this one's got a, a big clump of them, one starting out in the center. Now hopefully the situation won't be where I get even fewer large ones that are even larger, like as big as the ones that were coming off my cottonseed haul logs. I don't want that situation. Um, but that's where the casing might come to an advantage because it <clears throat> it doesn't let for, uh, say, the outside perimeter of the tub, which is going to have a slightly higher amount of humidity. And also, too, any large chunks of mycelium will usually pin up first. So, yeah, a casing layer kind of even things out a bit so you don't get more pins on the side and on the chunks. 
But, you know, that might actually be uh, something to think about if the, uh, the chunks of them pin first. You kind of you break up the chunks evenly. Kind of like uh, seeds, if you will. You kind of spread it out evenly and hopefully uh, encourage more mushrooms to form. And these are still some of the ones that had the thin casing layer. You can see that the thin casing layer on top without a pack on the sides just does not work well. So let's check in again and see how the pin set looks on these. And uh, hopefully this one with the six in it will be really pushing a big flush of them. I've already noticed one problem of fruiting the sawdust blocks uncased in the tubs. You can see this one is actually starting to pin pretty good all over, but it's having some problems. I see a spot there, a tiny spot there, a tiny spot there, a tiny spot here of green mold popping up. And what's happening is anywhere where there is a piece of wheat grain that's a bit exposed, like, I don't know if you can see this one, like right here, and uh, there's a, some over here. Uh, grain is a problematic thing for the mushrooms when it gets periods of dry and re-wetting, just because for some reason when the grain dries out, it gets too hard for the uh, mushroom mycelium to recapture it and mold spores will germinate on it faster than the uh, mushrooms can regrow back on it in just you know 12 hours. And so that's probably another good reason why to use the uh, casing mix because it allows uh, for the mycelium to regrow a little bit because you can see here it does regrow a bit and it uh, might do it more too on some casing mixes like this this cheap uh, uh, peat moss that I bought that has a lot of stick material in it. I try to get as much out as I can but it probably gives it a little bit more attrition and it wants to uh, grow through a little bit more. Um, this one up here that was putting a little bit and then I put some casing mix on it. It kind of looked like maybe that it uh, delayed the pinning so I don't know how that's going to work out. It did have a tiny spot of mold. You can see here I use a spoon to get out. Um, and that's what I'm going to do to this one is just use a spoon to spot remove any problems I see. And uh, hope it, uh, it, it will only be problems on the top because any grain obviously uh, underneath of it will be uh, recolonized much faster because it's always going to stay moist. So I'll have to do some uh, mushroom surgery on that one with a spoon that's cleaned with alcohol. These two uh, will probably end up with a, a similar problems, but I'll keep watching them. Um, I might actually have to come down here and do a midday misting just to make sure that the grain stays more moist and the mycelium doesn't die back from it. So either that or you might have to do this in a uh, greater humidity environment with more, maybe more pond foggers going back here. Um, also, too, I've made some bins where, uh, for instance, this one that I broke up the four blocks that I sit in there at the start along with the one on top. So all the blocks are busted up and remixed together. Um, I just made it recently, so we'll see here in a few days how that goes. Um, and then I got the idea, too, that on the ones I'm making with casing layer now, that instead of plopping the casing mix on there and spreading it out with my hands, which uh, leaves more fully patched areas of the mix, that I just carefully sprinkle it over it. The same four, uh, four medium handfuls, just sprinkled around. And that way it kind of evens out the amount of uh, open space there. And uh, notice too, it's like how you can see the, the grains a wheat in this that they're really hard to see in this and the ones that are exposed have a fluffy mycelium growing on them. So hopefully that will all still work out. I've had to deal with problems worse. Um, 
I guess it's, I guess if something if it gets too bad, I can always just add a casing mix and hopefully let it grow uh, through it. But knowing how these things go, that I'll push the the fruiting time back too far and it'll cause a poor pin set and a bad flush to come out. So keep on experimenting. You see, I have a, a fly strip to catch some of the gnats. Just this time of year, there's just so many bugs outside. They get in my house and eventually navigate their way down here. So it's nothing really that the mushrooms are causing a problem. It's just that's uh, how it is. I only need one strip. So again, let's check in a few days and see how this all looks.